In this chapter, we'll be talking about loops in Python. So what loops are, are basically blocks of code that are executed a number of times. So far, I mean, rather, we'll be talking about for loops and while loops. And in the end, we'll be t talking about break and continue statements. First, let's define what we're gonna be seeing in for loops called range, the range function. What this is, is basically, it defines sort of range of a loop to, be, to iterate through. So our prototype of range looks like this. Range, start, stop, and step. So start is the stop, start and stop are the, basically the range, the actual range itself. And remember, it's inclusive, so if we had range 1 to 5, it's going to include 1 and go all the way to 4, which I'll demonstrate later on. The step is the amount of increments to take in each iteration. So, for example, if we have 1 to 5 and the step is 2, it'll go from 1, 3, and then it will stop because 4 doesn't really, it's not, it doesn't reach that number in 2 steps. Or let's do actually a better one, let's say 0 to 4. With iteration of 2, it'll go 0, 2, and, f and then eventually 4. So let's actually demonstrate the, how this works. So it'll, you'll see better, you'll see it better in iteration, in actual illustration. So as you can see in Sublime Text, it actually did it for me by autofilling. Let's say this is I, and we'll just erase all this garbage. How about we do range from 1 to 10, and then we're going to print i. Don't forget your, your colon after the for loop statement. This is what it looks like, basically. So we have for any letter variable. I like to use i, like in most programming languages, we use i. Use in, the in keyword, and then here's our range function, and then here's our actual range of numbers. All right, so let's print I. We'll build this, and as you can see below, let me just go up. You can see here one, two, all the way to nine. And as you can see, it is inclusive, so it includes one, but it finishes at n minus one. So we can say the range is from from the beginning to n minus one, as you can see here. So our stopping point was ten, but here our, our we actually see it's nine, so that's n minus one. So let's add a step to this. So let's say 2. It's going to increment in numbers of 2. So let's build that. And as you can see, it goes 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 in increments of 2. And let's actually, so that's basically it for that. And let's just do another example with other numbers. Let's say 0 to 12 with increments of 3. Just so you can, you just get the point of this whole, to get the gist of this whole, how for loops. So as you can see in increments of 3, it went 0, 3, 6, 9. And since, remember, it's inclusive, so the final number is not included itself because that's how these work. Now if we did, for example, 13 here, you would get 12. So in for loops, with a range, keep in mind that if you actually want this final stop, stop number, be sure to do a number, one number above it, as you see in other programming languages, like we use, traditionally we use in like int i, for example, whatever, and then it's, for example, up to 10. That's like this, basically what we did. This is equivalent to this, let's say, step one, you don't actually have to include the one. This default is one. And then we just have I plus plus. This is basically how it's done in other programming languages. And this is how it's above is how it's done in Python. So this is this, what I wrote down here is basically this up here. And if you want actually, sorry, this should be 10. If you want actually to go up to 10, you do this. And I forgot the zero here. It just this is just illustrating how it all works. You do less than or equal to ten, and so you have this. This is basically this, and that pretty much concludes our tutorial on for loops. Please tune in next time.